All right, guys, another video. How to fix this shit. Let's fix this shit, mother. Yeah. Uh, my fucking landmower, Murray from Walmart. Uh, basically, doesn't want to turn on. Pull the fucking string a million times and nothing happens. Um, again, I went on YouTube and tried to find how to do it. And this people, they're trying to give you a lecture of when the shit was built and stuff like that. I don't want to know that. But they don't seem to explain to you how simple that could be. All right, so I remove this shit right here at the bottom. Still have some gas and I'm trying to save it. But at this point, fuck it, let's throw it. Yeah, you damaged the environment. I don't give a damn. All right, so it has this shit right here at the bottom. It just basically holds the gas, I'm assuming. And it's like a, I don't know, carburetor. I don't give a fuck what it is, but anyways. You take this off, has two screws, one in here and one in the other side, all right, right here. And you use a fucking seven, a seven, right? And then just take those off. It's gonna look like this, right? When you take those off, just pop this thing down. When you pop it out, on your kitchen, and what you're gonna need is one of those fucking things that holds the bread, the loaf of bread, you know, kind of twist this and the, and the shit, all right? So, see this little fucking hole in there? That little shit. That is gonna be poking it. Gonna poke it. Cause there's dirt stuck in this shit. Poke it in and out. In and out, have fun with it. All right, poke it. Then if you can, inside of it, try to poke this shit right there too. Yeah, maybe wrong. Yeah, you yeah, had a bunch of expert, lawnmower experts are gonna be like, well, actually, you're not supposed to do that. You're gonna damage the carburetor, the finiator, or whatever that is, I don't give a shit. Listen, it works for me, so. So you poke it right here to get some, get some of the dirt out, all right? And you poke this bottom one. Have fun with it. And I had this thing right here that's fucking full of gas. I mean, yeah, it may be damaging the environment, but I don't give a shit. Probably later on, I'll go throw in my mother in last house with some some matches on it. Just plain, just plain. Sensitive people. Anyways, once you clean that out, put that on. I'm gonna put this back together. And then we're gonna put everything back together. Put some gas on this shit and see what happened. All right, I'll show you guys when I got to put this back. All right, my friend, so I put this shit back already. Two screws, number seven. This, try to get a small one. The fucking big one doesn't fit here and then it's super hard to turn. Why does it make this shit so fucking hard? Can this ED just fucking make this a little higher? If it would've make it higher, it would've make more easier to fucking work. Yeah, I wanna hear the experts going like, well actually, you don't put it too high because the gas in it, I don't give a shit. I'm just saying, if they would've put this a little bit higher, it would've been a lot easier to take this off. But look how fucking tight it is. Look, you ain't got no space, so you better use one of those little ass things. Anyways, clean the inside of it. You took this one out, all right? When you, when you see it, it's not fucking rocket science. Literally, it doesn't. It's not. I promise, it's not. Look. This shit right here. This was in front, all right? And that little fucking hose that you see right there, this one, was connected to this shit right here, all right? So it goes right there like this. It has a fucking screw on this side, and then it has another screw on this side right here. And then another one right here and another one right under. Nothing fucking crazy, just that, right? It goes connected in the back of here, this one, right? You do that. Once you put this on, you have this fucking spongy looking shit that goes like this, right? On the other fucking side or some shit like that. There you go, like that. I know it's dirty as hell, I'm gonna clean it. It's all right? So just do that, all right? Have that shit. And then you put the cover on top. Voila. Fucking rocket science. There you go. So. 
I'm gonna put this back. And once I put this back, then we're gonna try it and it should work. And then now you guys can fix your own Murray Murai fucking lawnmower from Walmart that doesn't wanna turn on when you pull the fucking thing and it just goes like da 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 and you spend fucking killing your arm ten hours and shit and nothing happens. Well, we're fixing it today. Alright. By the way, piece of shit fucking lawnmower. I mean, it works. I've been having it in the, in the rain for fucking years. I promise you. Fucking years. And it still works. So it's good, I guess. But they don't put no fucking filter in this thing. So you fucking get dirt all the time in there. And the fucking gas and all this shit. But anyways, yeah. I had it on the rain outside for years and fucking years. And this shit still fucking works like a charm every time. But it just I just had to do that. Because the fucking dirt goes to here. And yeah, experts, I know there has to be something that you buy in addiction and then they stop it from it. Well, if y'all want to send me one of them, that'd be awesome. Look, this is the kind I need. So y'all want to be one of those kind people, do that. But if not, then uh, I'll keep on doing this shit, right? Okay, final video is going to be when I turn it on. Bye-bye.